It's time for Sport Cat Sport Cat News. Hello there. I'm Barbara Walters. Nah, not really. Just your old pal Sport Cat filling in for uh yeah, what's his name? Oh yeah, the guy who runs the station, Ross. I got some buttons. I'm gonna lose my mind. At all. All right, so we're live. We are live on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Kick, Trovo, um, some other places that I can't think of off the top of my head, but we're live, uh, and we are here. I'm filling in for Ross today. If you tuned in and wonder where Ross is, he is taking a personal day, So, but I will have my lovely and trusted co-host, Miss Dina, join us. I uh, want to thank everybody for tuning in. And listening to me, if you have any questions, comments, queries, call us at one 888 yergz The phone line is open. The chat is open. And let's get to some news. But first, let me find Miss Dina backstage. Dina, how are Hello. You? Hello. How are I'm you good. Doing? How are you doing? I can uh, say that again. You know, Warren says hello to you, but not me. Hello, I Warren. I sent him a prize, too. That's not Warren. That's a... a is that oh, well, it's word? Uncommon Soul. Un oh, it's Uncommon gosh. Soul. Hello, Uncommon Soul. You know me. Soul. We're uncommon Soul, I apologize. We're uh, <laughs> naming you Warren I, today. <laughs> you, you know, I have Warren on my mind. Warren, I miss you. Where are you? Come help me. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. So, Dina, you okay? Uh, I just noticed something, but go ahead. Real quick. You, you know, okay? Everything good? Well, everything's good, but you okay? No, I've had a bad Anything day. New? Sorry. Well, I'll make it better. I'll hassle you for the next few hours. But I just noticed that hiding in the background of my studio, well, I shouldn't say my studio, <laughs> really his studio, is the one, the only Jurgs. My man. Hey, What's Jurgs. happening? Up today? I, I've been off all week. Thank you for uh, covering. Uh, job well done. Um, I'm planning on going back with Marcella tomorrow. But... Cool. Uh, what are you doing Friday? I know that's not Dina's day, and I'm not. You don't have to. Uh, you got uh, your your schedule going, but uh, if you're not doing anything Friday, you know, feel free to continue, or I'll join you, or whatever. Like I said, this is your week, so um, you tell me, and you don't have to do it now, but you know, whenever. Yeah, I'll have um, to check the calendar because I get the show Friday night. But other than that, I don't yeah, know. exactly. So, how's everybody? What's what's up with your bad day? I didn't know you had a. When we texted earlier, I didn't uh, detect I that. Know. Pretty psychic. Oh, my knees are hurting today, and my doctor took me off one of my medicines, and I'm just pissed off. Oh. <laughs> she said I was ordering her. A, a painkiller or what type of medicine? Oh, no, but it's one that helps talk. with pain. Yeah. I mean, it just kind of, uh, I'll tell you later. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I'm always asking because as hopefully I've got given the impression that care about everybody here because uh, yeah. we've all made the progress that we've made and are making uh, because of each other. Nobody's going to do this alone. I've certainly learned that. Yeah. I, I've, ha I've had panic disorder for a long time and I've been on a certain medication for a very long time and she <laughs> cut it back uh, a whole like a pill and I didn't re I didn't realize yeah. it till like midnight and so <laughs> I was like uh oh <laughs> and you're low on supplies well I will be but they were just like yeah. start taking two now and it, and I can feel it uh, in my body and so it's just like meh and then I don't know if it's going to work out for me or not because I can. Yeah. I think you know, it's, it's funny you it's say that. Cumulative too, and so just over not over a night or a day, I can feel that panicky kind of. Yeah. Know, oh, oh I, I get it, and I was I yeah. was going to say it's funny you say that. A friend of mine yesterday, who's a doctor of naturopath, uh, we were discussing this, and he asked me, he says, "Are you taking lysine in large amounts?" Mm -hmm. Lysine, you take that when you get cold sores. Like, no, lysine in large amounts is better for anxiety than anything over the counter. So once you start trying it, it's a that's, an, that's an amino acid. I used to take that yeah, when I hit the weights. 
Oh, really? Yeah, it's amino acid. Yeah, it's a weight well if you use it as well. Yeah. Uh, and it works in the brain naturally instead of all the other stuff. Because like you, they were going to put me on another drug. And I'm like, oh, damn it, another pill. And I asked him, and he's like, why are you even taking those? If you take lysine in larger amounts, I mean, you have to look up for your particular weight and all that. Mm -hmm. It's much more effective than any of those. So. Does it, it does it bulk you up or make you gain weight or anything? Thank well, if you. you I'm work out, it will. Yeah, but yeah. no, no, it's an amino acid. No, you. Yeah, no, yeah. As you know, with kidney disease, with anything, you just have to drink more water. Right, right. Yeah. No, we'll talk about it off the air, but yeah, I just Ooh, learned I think about. I have some lysine. I think it might also be because I think it's kind of similar um, to L-tryptophan. Yeah, I think it might also be a uh, a sleep aid, not at not nearly to the like um, level of melatonin or trip or tryptophan, right. but at least it's a calming type of thing. I'm gonna try it. You can't hurt; it's natural. Yeah, yeah, true. exactly. Yeah, but yeah, I, and I found out some other things about. I'm gonna change up some of my things because there's a new study out <clears throat> from Korea of all places. <laughs> about uh, how that you could, they could now drain cerebral spinal fluid without doing a shunt through your uh, eyes. Oh, nice. Basically, it sounds to me like they're going in and, you know, this uh, rhinoplasty where they go in and they make your nose hole bigger because mm -hmm. it's stuffed up. Basically, it sounds like it's that. So, See, I had, I had the deviated symptom, symptom, deviated septum <laughs> surgery on one side. They didn't do the other side. I wish the hell they Did had. Did that do anything for you? Yeah. Really? Okay. Because I know yeah. two people that said that made it worse. No. Well, no, it did on one nostril, but the other one is like screwed up still. <laughs> yeah, but it always and was. That, yeah, it always yeah, was. Years that's ago, when they, the that's when they took my uvula out too. So I have a uvula. That little dingy. The only thing I noticed thing was, I oh. yeah. <laughs> I was, I was thinking, I it's been a while now. for me, so I was thinking something yeah, else. Not the <laughs> bottom, <laughs> the dangly thing that hangs in your throat. <laughs> little that. Thing that thing. Thing. Yeah, they did mine, and the only thing I noticed was I could smell better. I mean, it was like the, it was enhanced more. Mm. Back, to the, the, back to the uvula thing awesome. is, uh, yeah. Just out of curiosity, does that help the gag reflex? It does. Oh, <laughs> I might have to look into that. <laughs> yeah. So many, I have so many questions about that. This poor <laughs> guy just threw up in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> My penis is 13 inches long. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tested it out as soon as I could. It was interesting. <laughs> Banana or what? What are we talking? Oh, no, not a freaking banana. <laughs> Real thing. <laughs> After everything you have, you on? You know, we gotta we, we gotta do a a video segment on uh, when I get back, uh, like that Howard Stern scene where the the kielbasa. That's a twelve inch kielbasa. I'm not sticking any food that will break off into my. Gullet. Have you ever seen like anything like that, Sport Cat? <laughs> yes, I have. Uh, <laughs> Sport Cat can keep telling us about his uh, Shakespeare summer stock. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm coming, so I'm sorry. <laughs> Cross your blushing. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm excited. Well, me too, but I'm hoping in a different way, so... <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, no, no, it's, Never it's, hurts. yeah, I, I, I got to get to the doctor to make things go back to working better down there. <laughs> the kid said we got to go too. And I'm like, all right, well, he's obviously getting some. I, we had I, entertaining uh, on common, so that's, that's our job. Yeah. Entertain, inform, catch hell. Catch. Yeah. Bears our friends Speaking. family. <laughs> That's good shit. Speaking of catching hell, <laughs> there is now a federal agency in both of our futures 
that could be regulating us, all, actually all of our futures, and, and now Gina twice. Oh, no. Yeah, that, of course, is the Federal Communications Commission. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. As you two are now not the only ones possibly transitioning to the FM airwaves. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yep. Uh, I'm excited. Um, the, the the takeaway was where it, it's my estimation that because <laughs> and correct me if I'm wrong, Sportcat, but you're putting two shows on with them. One is the Misfits and the other is the Paranormal, correct? Correct, Jeff. Yeah. So they're talking to you less like a content creator and more like a production company in that, they're, you know, they're... Essence, um, yeah. Oh. Yeah, and that's, that's what they're... I, I mean, I could be getting as many as eight spots. Oh, wow. <laughs> Just with WDJY. Nice, Rob. <laughs> really liked you. Yeah. That is yeah. So um, cool. Nicole and I had a great conversation. You know, she's really uh, keen on uh, what you're doing. Um, and I think she liked the fact that neither one of us, none of us, me, you, her, are, are wanting to have to deal with attrition. Um, you know, we're, we're in and finding people here for the long haul. Yeah. I'm so and happy for everybody. Yay. Yeah, yeah exactly. And, and if she can awesome. drop that in my lap, it, you know, if she can drop that in my lap for eight shows uh, out of the week. Yeah. You know, she just solved a huge problem for her. Mm -hmm. Wow. And when I already got that, you know, I don't have a problem. All right. So, um, I've got a list of a bunch of slots. Maybe I can sell some to you. Uh, we can talk <laughs> business. Uh, and Wait, I, we've got, I've got some other... We already have our slots, right? Yeah. We're, I'm, I'm yeah. in. I'm in Friday night, yeah. Saturday night, and Sunday night. Tell you what, I'll, Ross, I'll yes. make it. You. Is I'll your is you your you for a million dollars? <laughs> You're going to have to be rather flexible on that price. But is your Saturday spot coincide with a Sunday spot? Like it's one spot, you get both of them? Yeah. Yeah, I'm at five to six, Saturday and Sunday. All right. yeah, well, five to Sunday. yeah, actually, speaking of that, send me your times. So if uh, possible, we can, you know, go back and forth off each other. And I can say for like my um, my Friday show, Sport Cat's up next right on you know the episode yeah. or vice versa now here's something you might want to think about you could help sponsor us to get on the dc and what we're in california oh. well it, 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 it's okay. funny you say that because I, I my i didn't sign yet because i have two questions and two things that i would want in the agreement mm -hmm. uh, one is that based on, you know, the conversations we've all already had with her is that syndication and simulcasting is not only permitted, it's encouraged. It's, right. it's, and I would like to say, see that in writing. Yeah. The other two sections had to deal Absolutely. with revenue sharing. Um, one is when we have commercials with WGJY in, and it's, I'm slurring it already. I can't do that. WGJY <laughs> in, in Atlanta. Uh, is that a local commercial that we split with just WDJY? And therefore, are there local commercials being sold in Fairfax and the other markets that is split with us and just those stations? Or is that a pool? And there is no such. They're all national. Oh, good, good question. And, and then what happens when there is a national commercial? Somebody wants to be on in all the markets that my shows, whatever they are, are on. Mm -hmm. And you know, how does that work? What does that look like? And then the third section was the actual accumulation of those sales. Do they have an agency that does it all for us and that's it? Or can I be proactive and get somebody and start selling as well? Yeah. And what yeah, happens yeah. If, if, if I sell a national one, who do I share that with? Mm -hmm. uh, do I share it? Um, 
know, if I do a live, you know, like the, the things I do for uh, what's his nuts, um, <laughs> Peter, any of my buddies that I'm doing commercials for right now, yeah. uh, Aroma by Peter, uh, and, and I do that live during the show. He doesn't pay me for that right now. Right. His payment is he sends me free candles. Mm -hmm. You know, Jason's payment for Limit Break Digital is that he does updates to yurgs.com. Yeah, that's it. So there's nothing to share with them unless I send them some candles. Mm -hmm. Um, but that's only going to go for so long at that point because that's that's a chunk out of Jason's and um, uh, Peter's, you know inventory and, and manpower. Mm -hmm. Uh, so anyway, you know, just those questions that I'm not going to jump into something that isn't finished yet. Right. At, at least not for, not for me. Um, and, and that's the other thing is that, you know, I've got a bigger pool, you know, there's obviously some things that are going to be on my end, you know, once it does become cash positive, you know, how do I split that with the talent that's creating it? Yeah. So that's it. That's the big news. All right. You haven't. You. You, you haven't. Uh, you haven't dissed me yet, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> well, I signed the contract for uh, Fairfax, DC today. Uh, okay. So the details of it. Well, the contract I already know the details, but the details of the exact time, stations, locations, broadcaster, probably in my yeah. inbox. But yeah. So, so far, right now, we're just. Uh, we're just with Nicole in uh, the Atlanta market. And she said that, you know, it, it's actually just outside of Atlanta, but mm -hmm. it's, you know, quarter of a million people, which is a quarter of a million people minus two that I have right now. Uh, you know, I still like to make the joke that I'm on more platforms than I have listeners. Uh, <laughs> Not but, for long, uh, baby. Not for long. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I'll worry about Fairfax and the other markets, you know, once we get these three sections ironed out. Uh, you, it and, must be that you have or you will be getting them ironed out soon because she's been in communication with me all afternoon. So, uh, yeah, I, I actually got a, um, I will add those sections, then email, revise the agreement this evening or tomorrow morning. Yeah, she's pretty good. She's pretty good. Yeah. So. And that's I put a high um a high priority on the email back to her because it was like ten of five. Uh and, and you know, I, I don't know if she's working from home or apparently if she's gonna do something tonight yet. Hopefully she's able to do that from home. But uh yeah, I, I'm um my thinking is to get this ironed out first and then start, you know. She she mentioned Fairfax, she mentioned the other market. She mentioned the television that that you know you're talking about or that you're also going to be on. Um, she likes the fact that we're also doing video. And I said, look at how many how many radio stations are now on television. Howard Stern, right. Rogan, you know, everybody has some sort of video going on now. Yep. And there's nothing wrong with that. And keeping the audio only side, FM, internet, podcasting, whatever, is. Uh, you know, good for people that are like commuting, driving, walking, you know, people who can't see video. Mm -hmm. And that just encourages us to keep it to that level as well. So we don't say, oh, hey, look at this. And then not say what it is. And exactly. Leave the person, you know, hanging. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I'm psyched. Yeah, I think she's very good at what she does. Was I correct? Did she do her homework on you before she met you? She's, she's very <laughs> impressed with Yergs.com. Um, she's very impressed with Yergs.com. I fessed up that there are some gaps that I'm still filling. And you know, I think that's you know something for the three of us to talk about, maybe strategize over and you know give some other admin potentials so you can manage your own stuff better than I am, if nothing else. But yeah, yeah there's, I mean, a, there's a lot that still need. I still need to do better promos for my shows on your stuff. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah. I, and it's and we have to cross promote better. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, yeah, so, it, and, it's happening. And, you know, yeah, it's happening. It is. It's hard for me because I'm a one man band, basically. Trying to try. Well, I know you are. I, it shouldn't be no. <laughs> yeah, 
I got to find gas, gas, but I do find now that I can say I'm in these larger markets, mm -hmm. uh, a little bit more interest. So yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I can and, say I can give you a and, million and listeners in Washington D.C. Don't that. don't forget that either. Yeah. Remember the people who told you no. Yeah. Who are now all of a sudden going to be sniffing your ass? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Can, we that? can we say that? Can I say sniffing your ass? Yeah, you can. Your we, station, were right? cool. we were talking yeah. about bosses ten minutes ago. You could say ass on the radio. Yeah, it's right. not, yeah, it's not one of the seven deadly words. Although bitch is, I haven't figured that one out. So really, bitch isn't. I don't think so. I can. I can, I can no, bitch isn't. I'm pretty uh, sure, or maybe who, it was. Ten. Maybe Who, yes, yes, because because I got the whole George Carlin thing down. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Poop, pee pee. -pee. <laughs> um, the the thing in the throat, but further south. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, the kielbasa thing with a, a chicken. Okay, okay. Uh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. I'm not sure I do, but uh, uh, mommy, rock, rock, rock. Mo mommy intercourse. <laughs> okay. Uh, mommy with intercourse again, but that can be with two daddies too. The F word. Okay. The F word. <laughs> and and uh, uh, bongo drums, which Glenn was talking about earlier. I'm gonna come. Uh, bongo drums. Tits. Oh, okay. oh, there I said one. <laughs> yeah, it's breasticles. It. You're allowed to say breasticles. breasticles. You can say breasticles. <laughs> yeah. I guess you can. It's a made-up word, so why not? So. I moved my yeah. button uh, down here, and I never use the damn thing. So. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Have, you got I. I got that board that you showed me before, um, but I haven't yeah. been using it because I just I don't know I just haven't been using it. But now I got to no, start. Oh. I've heard son of a bit in the in songs before. Yeah. No, bitch is fine. Yeah. Okay. Bitch well, is also a female. Literally, it's a female dog. Yeah, exactly. True. Well, Breeding <laughs> that there's a sudden bitch. Weird. <laughs> we're, but, we're, uh, we, we just talk like this. It's interesting. Welcome to the party, Uncommon Soul. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So anyway, uh, you are past time for a commercial or whatever you want to do. Uh, I've almost chewed up a quarter of your whole show. Sorry. Uh, I think that's, that's how we often roll, too. I need yeah. to look more into this Faith Hill controversy. Yeah. I know you love the politics. Not I know you love the politics. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not, yeah. I don't have Faith Hill on my head. I could not. If somebody put a picture up and said, "Who is this?" and it was Faith Hill, I probably could tell you who it was. I don't yeah. know why. I have <laughs> yeah, Taylor Faith Swift was much older. She's already married. <laughs> well, was, she, she was like, "There's like one for every few years." You know, it was Madonna, oh, yeah. then me, oh. then Lady Gaga. Yeah. So I guess in the country I, version, she's older than. Uh, to uh, Taylor. Taylor before the FM crazy. thing came about, before the FM thing came about, I I started getting on a bunch of different Facebook groups um, to actually start looking for some uh, fill some spots, and uh, one was an LGBT group on Facebook, mm -hmm. and one of the questions was um, to verify that I wasn't a a, a computer or a, a artificial intelligence or whatever. Um, who is the queen of pop? <laughs> And I'm like, well, for my generation, Madonna. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. That's yeah. kind of you know, aging me. But, uh, you know, of course, there's Britney and and whoever yeah. else. And um, uh, who's Lady the, Gaga is the one after Lady that. Gaga, oh, but, uh, um, De or who's the one from Britney's Child? Um, oh, Beyonce. Beyonce. Yeah. 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 But she was later, too. Yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Christina so, those are, and Madonna. Depending on who this admin is, if he's some twenty-year-old kid, he, he's going <laughs> to yeah. Madonna. Isn't that who my grandmother talks about in church? Yeah, it was uh, it was uh, Madonna, Christina, and Brittany. Those were yeah. The three who was it? 
Who was and it Jan- before and Madonna? Janet Jackson. Tina. I, that's who I, I I first went with. Tina Turner. Oh well, she she'd be. Uh, what was uh? Well, she was popular then. She had a yeah, absolutely. Before. Was um, the one in the early eighties that got WWE? Uh, oh, I can see her face. Uh, uh, Wee Bop. Uh, she did the oh, WWE. Cindy Lauper. Cindy Lauper. Cindy Lauper. I met her. What? Did yeah, you? she's a sweetheart. She seems like she would be such a doll. Yeah, I met her. She is so down to earth. Yeah. Huge sweetheart. The other one that I met, um, Annie Lennox. Oh. Very lovely lady. I bet yeah. The bitch. <laughs> Mariah <laughs> Carey. Oh, I've heard. She oh, was my a God. What a C word. I heard she was. You get the button ready. What a. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, I, I will tell you, I met Lady Gaga mm-hmm. twice. Yeah. Actually, I met her three times, but twice I got to actually talk to her. So uh she we were pulling on a med flight and they had her she had come in right before us. Uh, she hadn't even unboarded the plane. And mm-hmm. of course, you know, they pull her right up where it's not raining or anything. And right. here, we're right. out in the right. rain, we're gonna unload a patient onto an ambulance in the rain. And she asked when she saw the ambulance pull up, she asked if that was an air medical unit. And I don't know how she had knowledge of this. And I said, yeah. She said, move my plane immediately. She said, move my plane immediately and get them over here. And of course, it costs more. There's a lot of things involved. You got to yeah. oh, yeah. tow and then you go to spot. And I'm sure our boss didn't pay for the nice cushy one right. where there's no rain. And uh, so they, t- she come up on the plane. She says, "Hey, she got to sit still, guys." And everybody was like, "That's Lady Gaga. That's Lady Gaga." She was like, I'm having to move you. And she explained oh, what she did. And so I met her uh, once that way. She actually came on. She talked to the patient. She was really nice. It was a young child. And the second oh, time sweet. she saw we were an air ambulance, and it was nothing with weather. But she hopped up there and was like, "Hey, how are you guys? How you doing?" I thought I'd hop in and say hello. Uh, she, so she was very nice. So yeah, I got I got a soft spot for her. That's she, cool when people like that recognize yeah. the fact that they're celebrities, yeah. and you know somebody would love to say hi, and and yeah. and they do it in a in a casual and friendly manner, as opposed to hey, you know I, I'm here to say hi. It's fifty dollars an autograph, <laughs> you know, like Pete Rose and some of those other ass hats. Yeah, yes. uh, we're and I've actually experienced that with him. That's why I can say it. <laughs> Boston Celtics, when Doc Johnson was uh, the uh, coach, man, he went out of his way to make sure as an air ambulance that the whole team come over and talk to every one of us. They actually fed us, and wow. uh, the team went over to the child. Oh, how yeah. cool. And Very I don't cool. really follow basketball that much, but I thought that's way cool, yeah. so I'm, always, I'm a fan of him now. So, yeah. 100%, yeah. And all the Celtics. All right, well, I'll let you, uh, let you get back to your thing. To my thing with your in your hands or whatever you want to call it this week. <laughs> yeah, that, that that went a different direction, didn't it? My thing in your hands. That's what we we're calling the show. When we were estimating that you were getting your weekly shower, we, we I cracked some fireman jokes too, and I didn't uh, mean it. it that, but, but, <laughs> yeah, I did. Wow. I did. Went into the hose thing. Got audio clips. <laughs> wow, I'm trying to be a real newsman here for you. <laughs> all right all right everybody all right thank you right. again love you guys have fun love and you. uh we'll talk again all right dear all right, all right. Uh, so all right yep. i'll have you backstage it'll all just right. be me and miss dina so hello dina i'm excited <laughs> now we're on fm like everywhere <laughs> Hold on, where's my, where's my thing that annoys some people? Ladies and gentlemen, from coast to coast and around the world, you're listening to the Sport Cat Show. I love that. Sorry. <laughs> I love that. More space in here. Okay. Now, I wasn't sending you an order. I just wanted to make sure that you were you knew what we were talking about. That was all. I didn't yeah, want well. to look, sit here and look pretty. I mean, you do that already, but yeah, mm-hmm. I wanted you to... Uh, you know, so we had topics because I I was like I'm all in on a couple of these, and so I was like I well, want to make sure that we got to the same thing. I lost it, so I didn't get to read it, but I I will uh 
bring it with you if you have it. Was that the the bill? Yes, I did read the other story that you sent me about Show the. Hmm, you said we went on signal. Are we going to discuss? Oh, that? I didn't. Yeah, I didn't look that one up at all. So you can tell me about that one because uh, okay. I. It's kind of like a certain person that sends me 500 videos a day. Uh -huh. I read about, well, watch <laughs> about a third of them. But why? Uh, <clears throat> no, the the opening story I wanted to go with, and this one you didn't know anything about. Uh, according to a statement from Philip 66, a rupture in a natural gas pipeline occurred at about 9:15 Tuesday, north of Bazarout, Texas, Beaver County, on the Oklahoma side of the Texas Oklahoma border. The affected hmm. section of pipeline was shut down and several fire crews worked to put out the massive fire. Uh, interesting story. Crews from three different states all volunteer. A natural gas explosion in rural Oklahoma, Texas last night sent flames rising more than 30, rising more than 500 feet and was visible from more than 30 miles away. The only thing that they have destroyed is power lines that knocked out some local power to the area residents. No, nobody was injured, thank goodness. Including the people putting it out. Uh, it was uh, extinguished early this morning. There are no health threats to neighboring towns, uh, said a statement from Philip 66, who owns and operates the 435 miles of what's called the Front Range Pipeline between Colorado and Texas. It goes all the way down to the southern part of Texas. Hmm. No cause has officially been determined. However, the working theory is that the fire started in an 8-inch feeder pipe spreading to the main natural 24-inch gas line and ruptured, said one employee who spoke anonymously to local media. Philip 66 stated its first responder, if first priority is responding to this incident and ensuring the safety and health of its workers, emergency responders, and then the surrounding communities. Affected pipelines are all now closed. Federal regulatory agencies have been notified are en route. Local volunteer fire departments responded, shut down the road, police shut down the roads uh, in a large radius. Uh, and local responders reported on me social media that uh, they will be out for a while, that accordingly they have 13 miles of pipeline that must be drained because of the rupture. What they mean by that is they're going to burn it off. So 13 miles oh, wow. of eight inches of fuel, it'll take a little while. 13 uh, miles with eight inches of fuel. Is that what you said? Well, yeah, 13, but it's fed, but it's fed by different pipes. So I think oh, it's, wow. it's fed by eight different ones that go into the 24 inch. So they, and they had to shut them all down, but they have to be drained and uh, basically they'll have to burn off. Uh, so officials are still investigating the cause of the explosion. So hmm. Cause of the fire and explosion. So, but luckily nobody was hurt. I heard that last night go out around nine o'clock. And what really annoys me is one of the main concerns in this election is our natural fuel and our dependency. Not one news source carried that story today. That's and there should, really should be two reasons why that story should have been covered. It should have been covered on the possibility that it was A, attack on our infrastructure our mm -hmm. being it's our energy so that's kind yeah. of important <laughs> i mean and that's it, kind of it, important was it on the u.s side is that what you said yeah it was it was a beaver county uh wyoming no oklahoma oklahoma okay. sorry well i'm so sorry no and see i look i didn't realize this my geography is so long ago it's that thin line of oklahoma that has colorado on one side Texas okay. on the other. Each county connects to both both states. That could have been so a that's very three different states. Exactly. It could have been uh, much more. Much, much worse. So yeah. it exploded in an area where it was just uh the high tension power lines. So wow. yeah, that it exploded in a lot of people don't realize that right under our feet are highways for all kinds of things, natural mm -hmm. gas, uh fuel oil. Fuel, uh, jet fuel, you know, and what they do is they will, uh, let's say, I don't know how exactly it works, but let's say it's Monday and they're going to send fuel to fill up all the big tanks that we see, you know, where they store mm -hmm. the gas that the tractor trailers come out of. Say Monday, we're going to fill it with high test. 
and they'll flow all that gas and fill up all throughout the states like a big siphon all the way down to the Gulf, usually from the north. Sometimes it goes the opposite way, but usually it comes from the north down. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then after they say, okay, well, tomorrow we're going to send jet fuel. So it's only going to go to the jet fuel people. So they send so many hours of water through the lines, clean the lines, and then they shut them down, and then they send the jet fuel. And then the next day they'll send motor oil or they'll send natural gas. Yeah, it's a it's a really intricate system. Uh, I think you can see or download online through I think like OSHA or maybe the EPA where they are under the ground, but very few people realize it's right under our feet, (laughs) right under our main highways. You know, so yeah, yeah. Oh Oh, yeah, it's it's interesting. Yeah. Occasionally, if you ever smelled that smell and you're like, oh, that's gas, mm-hmm. that, that's a, that actually uh, the gases are odorless. They put that in there so you can smell it so yeah. that they can detect leaks. I know quicker. they do that for natural it gas. Calls. Yeah, yeah. It, so if it, there's the two different gases have two different smells. Yeah. And so if they start getting calls from a neighborhood, they're like, oh, we got to leak somewhere in the area. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so. Anyhow, that was my lead-off story, and I want to lead off with that because, well, A, I like the fire side of it, and three states mm-hmm. responded. Nobody was injured, but the fact that Fox, CNN, nobody I saw carried it. Wow. Uh, it I only found local coverage through the Oklahoman and uh, Wyoming newspapers and some you know, newspaper or local TV stations. Uh, that, why was that not a national story? Oh, wait a minute, because we've got the ticker on the bottom of the screen for when we're going to blow up Iran. (laughs) No, are they really? Oh, gosh. Biden has stated he has determined (sighs) his response. And so the countdown has begun to, you know, when it'll happen, what it'll be. Iran has already said if it's anything on their soil or them, they're attacking back. So, Well, of course they will. The rumor going all around the internet last night was that we were going to take out some of their naval ships because we they say that they can say, well, they were blocking the straits of, what is it, Vermeu? Mm-hmm. Vermeu, whatever it is. So, yeah, that was, that was the theory on the internet last night, but Yet the Iranian government sent out an alert to all their citizens to be ready to take cover. Yeah. So. Well, I don't. I don't think they would be. I don't think they would hit anything that was. Uh, civilian. Civilian. No, I don't no. think so. But that, no, they won't know, do that. They, we won't sent do out that. the emergency alert to scare them. Yeah. Definitely. So, so yeah, there was like four shows last night. I was watching YouTube. There was like, and it was probably more, but I just caught like four of them that basically had a countdown to where we were going to attack. You know, they had like found video cameras from different parts of the country, weather cameras or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, we shouldn't know when they attack, when we're going to do it. And we shouldn't know how it's none of our damn business. Tell the president and say today I outlawed Russia. That's what Reagan did. You know, (laughs) Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should know about it after the fact. Yeah, he you know? should have even said. Yeah, exactly. He really should have even said anything. Period. Yeah, because now we're on this countdown, and yeah. I don't, it, it's it's getting dark over there now. So, or no, it's getting daylight over there now. So, yeah, apparently nothing happened. I should have tuned in some of the videos. They'll be on tonight. You can go to YouTube and find it. It's I'm telling you, if I had the time and energy, my next podcast would be why we didn't die today. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Nothing wrong with a lot of these preppers. There's good information. There's a lot of things you can learn. There is. But God, stop with (laughs) scaring people so badly. There is so much fear porn on the internet. It's good name for it. Good name for it. I'd yeah, never thought of it that way. Great name for it. Yeah. And it spreads so quickly. It does. And people uh, make up the craziest things. I mean, 
I, that, no. I, I get tired of it. I mean, really, I just Taylor, Taylor Swift is a CIA operative. She was oh she is a pedophile baby that was born in a test tube. I got oh I, if I had had time today, I wanted to go read this because they're so funny. So I mean, some of the crap that's yeah. made up is like, just, how I do you people believe this stuff? It's so I outrageous. I, I mean. I, I, I don't I, both sides. I don't. I don't even understand it. <laughs> I mean, it's like, true. It's true. Like, there's a, oh, there's a Republican no. conspiracy <laughs> against Taylor Swift, and there's a Democrat conspiracy against Taylor Swift. I don't get it. So, so yeah, I'm going to research that because because I think it's funny as hell. I mean, oh, how can you be that stupid? So. No. Yeah, I mean, I can see if you say the refs are paid off or something, talking about sports. Oh yeah, yeah. But, I could get, the, yeah, I get that. But they, there's people out there saying that they knew Taylor Swift was going to be with this guy and it would promote things oh and that gosh. it's help another party. And so they've let the team win all the way to the oh Super Bowl. Gosh. That's so ridiculous. Was, if you watched Patrick Mahomes any this season, I can tell you by far, there is no way that he is not a 100% fierce competitor from everything from throwing his helmet at players to yelling at referees. He even had his helmet cracked. I have not seen that s since like the 60s. <laughs> now, you can't tell me that this is, you know, set up. This, at least, unless somebody didn't tell this kid. <laughs> oh, you know, I, I love Taylor Swift music. I don't like her politics, but I don't, you know, that's her politics. I don't care. I, I don't care. I mean, opinion, I, I, all, even with comedians and uh, actors and stuff. I don't. I don't care about. Well, comedians are a little different. We'll go with actors. Yeah. I don't care about your political views. Just go ahead yeah. and play that that part in that TV or that movie. Yeah. Show. Oh yeah. I, mean, I care less. It's, <sighs> I digress. It's it's all upset over everything. So. Ugh. But talking about you and I were talking. I wanted to talk about uh, the Florida bill. Oh yes. One yes. thing I wanted to talk about. I wanted to see um, what it was about. And as I was doing that, I, under, I found out that uh, the same time they were doing this up on Capitol Hill, where is it? Oh, where is it? There we go. Up on Capitol Hill, um, they had a. It's a, it kind of shocked me. It was a rare unification of uh, both parties. Uh, CEOs of Meta, TikTok, X, oh, and other social like media that. companies before the Senate Judiciary Committee to testify as lawmakers and parents grow increasingly concerned about the effects of the social media on young lives. Were they under oath oh, no. this time? I do not think they were under oath this time. Ah, mothers. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I know. Uh, and so the hearing began with a recorded testimony uh, from kids and parents who said that they or their children have been exploited on social media uh, throughout the hour-long event, parents who lost children to suicide silently held held up pictures of their dead children. I got a little clip here I was going to share. Well, okay. From the opening uh, statement. This is Democrat Senator Dick Durbin. I want to preface my remarks by saying that I've been in Congress for a few years. Senator Graham has well as well. If you do not believe this is an idea whose time has come, take a look at the turnout here. Today, the Senate Judiciary Committee will continue its work on an issue on the mind of most American families, how to keep our kids safe from sexual exploitation and harm in the internet age. Online child sexual exploitation includes the use of online platforms to target and groom children and the production and endless distribution of child sexual abuse material, CSAM, which can haunt victims for their entire lives and in some cases take their lives. Everyone here will agree this conduct is abhorrent. I'd like to turn to a brief video to hear directly from the victims, the survivors, about the impact these crimes have had on them. Oh, no. I was sexually exploited on Facebook. I was sexually exploited on Instagram. I was sexually exploited on X. This is my daughter, Olivia. This is our son, Matthew. 
Look at how beautiful Miriam is. My son Riley died from suicide after being sexually exploited on Facebook. The child that he gets exploited is never the same ever again. I reported this issue numerous times, and it took over a decade before anyone helped me. You might be able to tell that I am using a green screen. Why is that? In the internet world, um, my past abusers can contact me. Fans of my abuse material as a child can find me and contact me. As a 17-year-old child, I had to write a victim impact statement after being extorted for four consecutive years. While I was strong enough to resist sending him any more pictures, there were dozens more who were not. We got a phone call to find out that my son was in his room and was suicidal. He was only 13 years old at the time. Um, him and a friend had been exploited online and trafficked. And my son reached out to Twitter. Twitter, or now X, his response was, thank you for reaching out. We reviewed the content and it didn't find, we did not find a violation of our policies. So no action will be taken at this time. How many more kids like Matthew? Like Olivia. Like Riley. How many more kids will suffer and die because of social media? Big tech fell to protect my child from sexual exploitation. Big tech failed to protect me from online sexual exploitation. And um, we need Congress to do something for our children and protect them. It's not too late. It's not too late to do something about it. Online child sexual exploitation is a crisis in America. In 2013, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children, known as NCMEC, received approximately 1,380 cyber tips per day. By 2023, just 10 years later, the number of cyber tips has risen to 100,000 reports a day. Oh my God. That's 100,000 daily reports of child sexual abuse material, also known as CSAM. In recent years, we've also seen an explosion in the so-called financial sex torsion, in which a predator uses a fake social media account to trick a minor into sending explicit photos or videos, then threatens to release them unless the victim sends money. In 2021, mm -hmm. Nick Mack received a total of 139 reports of sex extortion, 2021. In 2023, through the end of October alone, this number skyrocketed to more than 22,000. More than a dozen children have died by suicide after becoming victims of this crime. This disturbing growth in child sexual exploitation is driven by one thing, changes in technology. In 1996, the world's best-selling cell phone was the Motorola StarTech. While groundbreaking at the time, the clamshell-style cell phone wasn't much different from a traditional phone. It allowed users to make and receive calls and even re receive text messages, but that was about it. Fast forward to today. Smartphones are in the pockets of seemingly every man, woman, and teenager on the planet. Like the StarTech today, today's smartphones allow users to make and receive calls and text, but they can also take photos and videos, support live streaming, and offer countless apps. With the touch of your finger, that smartphone that can entertain and inform you can become a back alley where the lives of your children are damaged and destroyed. These apps have changed the ways we live, work, and play. But as investigations have detailed, social media and messaging apps have also given predators powerful new tools to sexually exploit children. Your carefully crafted algorithms can be more powerful force on the lives of our children that even the most best intentioned parent. Discord has been used to groom, abduct, and abuse children. Meta's Instagram helped connect and promote a network of pedophiles. Snapchat's disappearing messages have been co-opted by criminals who financially extort young victims. TikTok has become a, quote, platform of choice for predators to access, engage, and groom children for abuse. And the prevalence of CSAM on X has grown as the company has gutted its trust and safety workforce. Today, we'll hear from the CEOs of those companies. They are not only the tech companies that have contributed to this crisis, they are responsible for many of the dangers our children face online. Their design choices, their failures to adequately invest in trust and safety, their constant pursuit of engagement and profit 
over basic safety have all put our kids and grandkids at risk. Coincidentally, coincidentally, several of these companies implemented common sense child safety improvements within the last week, days before their CEOs would have to justify their lack of action before this committee. But the tech industry alone is not to blame for the situation we're in. Those of us in Congress need to look in the mirror. In 1996, the same year the Motorola StarTech was flying off shelves, and years before social media went mainstream, we passed Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act. This law immunized the then-fledgling internet platforms from liability for user-generated content. Interesting, only one other industry in America has an immunity from civil liability. We'll leave that for another day. For the past 30 years, Section 230 has remained largely unchanged, allowing big tech to grow into the most profitable industry in the history of capitalism without fear of liability for unsafe practices. That has to change. Over the past year, this committee has unanimously reported five bills that would finally hold tech companies accountable for child sexual exploitation on their platforms. Unanimous. Take a look at the composition and membership of the Senate Judiciary Committee and imagine, if you will, there's anything we could agree on unanimously. These five bills were the object of agreement. One of these bills is by Stop CSAM Act. Critically, it would let victims sue online providers that promote or aid and abet online child sexual exploitation or that host or store CSAM. This stand against online child sex sexual exploitation is bipartisan and absolutely necessary. Let this hearing be a call to action that we need to get kids' online safety legislation to the president's desk. I now turn to the ranking member, Senator Graham. Yeah, I know that was long, but I wanted to play it all because there was a lot to digest in there. Yeah. Um, how he has grown to over 100,000 complaints a day. That is so many. I can't even imagine that number. Mm -mm. You know, and <clears throat> I like to, one of the things I always say is, you know, a lot of it's his parents' fault. I'm a bit, yes, but not all. Not all. Yeah. No. In this day and age, like you said, everyone has a smartphone, mm -hmm. you know, and you don't want your kids to not be able to communicate. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, I kind of saw that was a little bit too long. I, <laughs> I took that time. I took that time up so that it was that important. Uh, you can uh, rewind the show a little bit. It was about a five minute uh, from Dick Durbin when he opened the uh, Judiciary Committee this afternoon. And one of the things I did find surprising is, like he said, every one of them agrees this has got to change. Yeah. But I didn't understand what they were talking about. They kept referring to the 230. And so what they were talking oh, section about, yeah, yeah, section 230, what they're talking about, basically, it's the Internet's First Amendment. And now both the Republicans and Democrats want to take it away. Well, and well, it came up in 1996. When we were in a different time and place. It came up again. It came up while Trump was president as well. Yes. And it, it's not really a what it is. It's not really the first, the first amendment It's whether deciding whether, excuse me, platforms. So sorry. <laughs> platforms are, um, what are they called? Um, give me a minute. <laughs> it's been uh, a while. Different social media. Companies like X and Talk and yeah, that are, you whether know they are. Well, it states specifically that no provider or user of an internet interactive computer service shall be treated as the publisher or speaker of any publisher. information provided. Right. By whether any they're 
other information content provider. Okay. Yes. Whether they're publishers or whether they are not publishers. So if they're publishers, I, I'm gonna, I think I know what you're getting at. Yeah, I they're prote they're at. protected by they're protected uh, from the user's speech. Correct. Yeah, basically, it, the the companies host the trillions of messages, keeps it from being sued into oblivion right. by anyone who feels wrong that someone else has posted, whether yeah. their complaint is legitimate or not. That's yeah. the problem. Yeah. So. If they're not, if they're, or or vice versa, if yeah, not, well, I, I get, uh, yeah, yeah, I know where you're going with this. I'll get okay. to you. So I'll, I'll get to that in a second. All right, hold. Okay. And I want to fairness. I also want to play since that was the Democrat. Uh, you know, one side of the leading party opens, uh, the other side gets fair play too. So I want to play uh, Lindsey Graham's. His uh, thankfully is long. But it is still just as important. Uh, well, I don't. I don't take anything away from what Dick Durbin said. That's why I gave it. Right, to right. I didn't edit it. I mean, I could edit it down and took some snippets, but no, it was good. He there was, was a lot was, there. Durbin There's is a lot not. That I don't understand. Durbin is not always. He's he's fairly um, reasonable. I'll put it that way. Well, not everybody in that committee is, but they were today. This is Senator no, Graham. He usually is. Durbin is usually uh, fairly. Mr. Zuckerberg, decent. you and the companies before us, I know you don't mean to, it to be so, but you have blood on your hands. You have a product. You have a product that's killing people. When we had cigarettes killing people, we did some about it, maybe not enough. You're going to talk about guns. We have the ATF. Nothing here. There's not a damn thing anybody can do about it. You can't be sued. Now, hey, Senator Blumenthal and Blackburn, who have been like the dynamic duo here, have found emails from your company where they warned you about this stuff, and you decided not to hire 45 people that could do a better job of policing this. Yeah. So the bottom line is you can't be sued. You should be. And these emails would be great for punitive damages. But the courtroom's closed to every American abused by all the companies in front of me. Of all the people in America we could give blanket liability protection to, this would be the last group I would pick. Mm -hmm. It is now time to repeal Section 230. This committee is made up of the ideologically most different people you could find. We've come together through your leadership, Mr. Chairman, to pass five bills to deal with the problem of exploitation of children. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it absolutely cheer. Oh, why did it, why is it not there? Absolutely cheer him on because yeah. that. Uh, yeah, that was that's uh, need to know information, you know? Mm hmm. Uh, uh, he could, yeah, he told him it's time to deal with your dark side. Yeah, you know? yeah. and people don't realize the dark side of it. And yeah, and he, oh, absolutely. Here's the thing, you know, I if it wasn't for me being out into this medium and forum, mm -hmm. I probably would have abandoned Instagram. Yeah, TikTok, yeah. I can't stand, but I have to do stuff with it. Mm -hmm. You know, I would have probably just hung around with Facebook. That would have probably been about it. Social media, I, I go to, and I, granted, I go to X, formerly known as Twitter, yeah. for news and sports and weather, but I, I would have, I, myself personally, if I wasn't out in this forum doing these things, I wouldn't have anything to do with them. Because even I, I got on Snapchat, and, I, and we joked about this. I kidded about this. Mm -hmm. I jumped on Snapchat and I got more pictures of breasticles than I could possibly ever imagined. No, oh, yeah, I, I, I wouldn't. I don't think I'd have Snapchat. Uh, <laughs> well, once again, it's another forum for yeah. going out there and saying things. You know. Yeah. You know, I mean, not only not only do I do this, I st I have the other business where I sell the patches and the coins and stuff. So it's another forum and yeah, maybe yeah, you can get yeah. out there. Yeah. Now, there granted, there's good sides of this. 
which oh, hopefully, of course, you yeah. Point, but you know, and like I said, I've joked about it, but thirteen-year-olds uh, that know mm-hmm. how to commit suicide. I mean, now I know I've ran the calls, but they shouldn't. I mean, there was a girl on Facebook that hung herself live, and it broadcast for three hours while she oh was having. Are you kidding? No, no. Oh, That's Lord. just one example. Yeah, people watched it. More people watched it than people called in. See, what's wrong with these people? Now there is actually a thing, that. a psychological thing, where yeah. if there's a large crowd, one person assumes one of the other hundreds of people have called. It's a psychological. I right, I've, I've heard of that. Yeah, but it's it's a, a theory. Mm-hmm. And so it's it's just unbelievable. And I didn't realize that it gotten that high. And I've reported things. Mm-hmm. I mean, I can pick up my phone right now, look at Facebook, and I guarantee you there'll be a girl's ass sticking in my face. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and now Facebook is it, it's perfectly fine. It's okay. Now Facebook allows, if you breastfeed... Show that on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Nothing wrong with that, but when I was a kid, you had to work really hard to find boobs. <laughs> when I was a kid, you had to have an adult go to the Seven Eleven and buy the penthouse. You know what I'm saying? There was some. I don't remember on whose um, account it was the other day. There was it was and it was. Oh gosh, I think it was on. Uh, I think it was on Facebook. There was the girls, uh, the picture. I mean, the, it was just a random person. I don't know whose it was, whose account it was, but it was like, the, okay, their profile picture was the front of some white panties. Okay. So I was like, damn. I was like, looks like you forgot your pants or lost your pants or something. <laughs> What I sent back to him, and then the the second the second a couple of people down later was an ass in a thong, and I was like, (laughs) (laughs) "Let's see." uh, I was like, "Ma'am, your the back of your skirt's tucked up. You might want (laughs) to." There's a there's I forget what day it is. It's uh, Wednesday. Is like. I think it's Wednesday is boob day, flash your boob day, or something oh, like that. Funny. There's I mean, there's actually hashtags and stuff for it. And it's I agree. Some of it's funny, some of it's fun, you know, but yeah, but kind of draw the lines somewhere. I mean, it's kind of well, crazy. You've got okay, so the the age is supposed to be 13 for most of these platforms, 12, 13 years old. But there's no way. All I have to do is put in a birth date. Exactly. That, that's going to be one of my my things. How do you how do you govern these things? Yeah, their birth you know, date, you their phone phone number, runs around. No, <laughs> there's nothing. There's no, not not yeah, a damn thing. Huh. I mean, hey, and I, and you, I, you can put your name in as Joe Smith. I was born in 1925, and the, the algorithm will take it. Exactly. exactly. And there's so many kids on there. I mean, it's just. Well, there's more kids online now than there are adults, I believe. I believe I, I didn't. I was trying to look to find that statistic, but I know I've heard oh, that. They probably so, are. Well, co- and COVID didn't help because look at the number of. Uh, Children that were online classes, yeah, uh, from school. Yeah, some of us still do that. It's an option now. Yeah, yeah. True. At least here in Georgia, it is this an option? You knew you had to go to school. Yeah. It's an yeah, and you know and what? You can tell them. 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 You can say, you know, what the rules are. Do not give your name, your full name out. Do not tell anybody where you live. Do not, uh, you know. I, I didn't realize. Do not, do not 
send pictures, do not uh, do this or that or whatever. You know, people aren't who they say. They think you're ignorant. They think you don't know what you're talking about. And they will do that. Even if you think your child is the best one in the world, do not put anything past them because I've been proven wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I, uh, I uh, found uh, a setting on Snapchat. Like I said, I'm not really a huge Snapchat user, but I've got it to play with for all of this stuff. Yeah. And yeah. I found this the default setting in Snapchat has a brings up a Snap Map, and it will show your exact location. Oh, that see, that you have, to, you have to manually turn it off. I didn't know it was in there until I was playing with the features. I'm like, what is this? And I probably had the app for, yeah, I don't know, two months or something. But you know, and I, and I was like, "Well, holy crap!" And I like zoomed out, and you can zoom in on parts of the country that are that are blue. That means there's a lot of public snaps there, and you can click on it, and it'll show you where they're at. Oh my gosh! See, oh yeah, Snapchat so to me is probably scary. the most dangerous of all. And the other reason it's more dangerous is. Let's say I send you a message. After you read it, it's gone. Yeah, yeah. it's shredded. You, they can't get it back. So, yeah, Snap, I think Snapchat's probably the worst of them all, and unfortunately, it's the most popular. One of the most. Yeah, popular, yeah, though. for younger kids, it is. But that section two thirty that Graham was talking about, I looked it up. And basically, it started in the 50s when bookstore owners were being held liable for selling books containing obscenity, mm. which is not protected by the First Amendment. Okay. A case which was made to the Supreme Court, which held that it created a chilling effect to hold someone liable for someone else's content. Mm -hmm. Then, back when the internet was taking off, CompuServe and Prodigy both had online forums. CompuServe chose not to moderate theirs. Prodigy did, trying to withhold a family-friendly image. Mm -hmm. CompuServe was sued over that, and the case was dismissed. Prodigy, however, got in legal trouble because the judge in their case ruled that because they exercised editorial control, you're more like a newspaper than a newsstand. So basically, mm -hmm. that meant the bookstore owners were free Previously, mm -hmm. so now were the internet providers. So the politicians worried, like they saw the, what was going to happen, mm -hmm. and when the internet was fledgling, they didn't want these companies to go out of business by being lawsuit for moderating, and so that's when they bore section born section two thirty. It mm -hmm. protects all them from liabilities from user posts as well as liability for any claims for moderating content. So they're clear on both sides on that. They if you say it, you're fine. Yeah. And yeah. if they do it, they're if they do it, they're fine. So uh at that time polit politicians both agreed uh that that was the way to go. Well, see, on the business end, I can see where they'd want to be that way. I could see where a, plat a social media platform would would um, go for that. I mean, of course they don't, they don't want to be responsible for any of the, no, uh, not at of, all. the, of the speech because in some places speech is outlawed. Some, some speech is outlawed and that would be hard to monitor. That would be difficult to monitor here in the U S It would that it would be bore down to threats and illegal activities. So it would be a narrower. Well, and that's what both sides agreed. You know, Twitter, Facebook; those were the two mm -hmm. prominent at the time. Yeah, uh, back yeah. Initial that they should have immunity, but that at this time now that they've abused that immunity. Yeah, action, yeah. and that they want him to lose it. Well, but it now on the flip side, I can tell you this from personal experience: people sending threatening things mm -hmm. to me, to my family, to my children. Yeah, even 
the legal system. It took me writing to the police chief, the mayor, and the city council asking why my police department, who had the world's greatest cyber crime division, wouldn't pay attention to somebody getting death threats. Yeah, the laws that finally really got have- their attention. That mm-hmm. finally got their attention. And basically, I never saw a detective or an officer. It called me on the phone. Yeah. And then they, they, they handled it. But on the other end of the country, they had just enacted a law mm-hmm. that that's illegal. Right. So the only thing my community police could get them on was abuse of 911 when they tried to swap me, not once, but twice, but three times. Mm-hmm. The other side of the country, King County, Washington, used their law that was just brand new legislation. Right. To prosecute right. this person. And that but was just took, a couple of years ago, right? 13 months. Yeah. And it took 13 months to get that in, in act in it done. And the first time the King County DA threw it out, this is that's how they did they don't care about it. Threw it out because in the form that I filled out by a police officer on the phone on the opposite side of the country did not have a way of the prosecutor. The DA could not contact me, so he threw the case out. Dang. That's, that's that's, and, and that was absolute bullshit. So he, basically he was throwing the cops. The DA was yeah. throwing yeah. the cops in, you know, yeah. under the, yeah. under the uh, what do you call it, under the bus. Yeah. yeah. But he had a way of if he just read the whole damn report, right, and would have looked at the evidence, mm-hmm. but threw it out. It it till it took until I had to do letter writing to congressmen, senators, local. Mm-hmm. Actually, the congressmen and senators didn't do shit for me. It was the local <laughs> that did. Yeah. Oh, so, but uh, yeah, um, yeah. In a lot of places, the laws haven't caught up with the with the. Technology. Technology. Thank you. My head is killing me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I guess, well, because the technology is going so fast. I know. It, it really is. It's crazy. But Zuckerberg today, he stood and turned away from his microphone and the senators and addressed the family directly. And I got a quote from him. I, did, I was not going to replay him. I could have, but I chose not to. What he stated, I'm sorry story? for everything you have been through. No one should go through things that your families have suffered. Meta continues to invest and work on industry-wide efforts to protect our children. I wasn't going to give him the bandwidth because he's already a millionaire. So I didn't, you know. Uh, CEO of uh, Twitter, well, X, she said, our platform in no way caters to children. We we do not even offer that line of business. So... (laughs) Duh. Oh, that was kind of, but I mean, she's right in one way, but because basically yeah. they don't set up anything like that. If you send it back and forth, most of the time it's public. If it's a private message, it's free. I mean, uh, you're free between two people, and you can restrict who can message you, even people that you're friends with. Um. And it's funny you bring that up. I was going to comment about that. Um, Mm -hmm. Google's YouTube was not there from all of the companies they had called, even though more kids use YouTube than any other platform, according to Mm -hmm. Pew Research. Pew has found that 93% of U.S. teens use YouTube with a distant amount at 63. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And one thing you do throw up is almost every one of the red legislations and uh, speeches by congressmen and I pulled up. Mm-hmm. Every single one of them brought up Trump. Yeah. Now he puts his lies and he does this, he does that. Every right. single one of them. So they they turn it into political bullshit. That's my yeah. term. Yeah. But that's what they well, turn it into. Well, uh, that shouldn't have anything to, to do with what this was today. I mean, agree. I agree. I however, agree. However, however, they there was a big purge of conservative voices, and there have 
off of uh, YouTube and Twitter when it was Twitter. They say there wasn't, but there was. I saw it. I watched it. What did that happen? You know. Well, even uh, Amy Klo Klobuchar, I can never pronounce her name. Uh, she's the Minnesota Democrat. She said, I'm tired of this. It's been 28 years since the start of the Internet. We haven't passed any of these bills because everyone's double talk, double talk, and it's time to actually pass the bills. Yeah. yeah and usually she's one of the ones that's real, usually, I won't say out there, but she's real vocal. Yeah. Yeah. So, but I'll tie this back for me for you. <laughs> the best way to regulate these companies is to impose a code of ethics. Now, yeah, yeah. it's multi through multi stakeholder process enforced by a mixture of public and private efforts. Such a code could draw experience of the professionals of, wait for it, the comic book industry. Like internet companies today, comic books were pervasive and had lots of troubling pollution in terms of violence, racism, and sexual content. They also carried advertisement engaged in data collection and sales method, clearly inappropriate for youthful audiences that they targeted. Mm -hmm. Serious, thoughtful people, both prominent members of Congress and psychiatric people agreed that this was causing social harm. So, following congressional hearings where the comic book industry was drug up in front of them, their response was to make a voluntary code of contact, or code of contact, code of ethics. <laughs> I wrote all this down so I wouldn't forget it. Yeah. Uh, and this comics code really was way ahead of its time. It forbid racial prejudice in comics at a time when children's counting rhymes used racial language that is now considered obscene, and I don't remember that at all, so it must have been before me. Mm. I can't remember any type of counting rhyme that would have been considered even today. I, it, so it must have been before me. Uh, unlike mm -hmm. other codes, it provided possibilities to update. When publishers realized during the 60s, problems with the drug use made it impossible to tell anti-drug stories, so they, made a, they prohibited anything that involved drug use. Mm -hmm. And then later, when they came up in the uh, late 80s about sex, even depictions of teenage dating was taken out of comic books. Wow. Yeah, comic book code was very strict. Uh, for so most of its history, the code enforced was forced largely because companies refused to advertise in the comics that were not code approved. So they had to have the code. And most newsstands, pharmacies, places you buy them wouldn't carry them either. Now, they did still make those type of comics, but they were at specialty shops. I remember oh. the Archies. I mean, the Arch yeah, the Archies. I thought they dated. I mean, they dated. They went on dates. but They went out, but I don't know that they ever. <laughs> they went to the, they they went to the malt shop, but they didn't they like hook shop, up. Yeah. They didn't hook up yeah. or nothing. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was yeah. all innocent. It was really, I mean, it was, yeah, oh, it was, yeah, it was dating in my time, you know, exactly. <laughs> uh, that code protected and preserved Which the comic book industry. Um, and so I think that big tech could learn a lot from comic books, yeah, you know, yeah. and it, it's because comic books at the time was a medium, it was a format, I think, you know, you should, so. Uh, I think I'll I'll send that to somebody. I got it in a word document. You can have it. I don't care. Okay. I was okay, deleted cool. after today's news. So no, don't delete it. Send it to me. I'll send it to Lindsey Graham. There you go. But <laughs> yeah, I think that uh, and the comic book code worked great. You still will. I think. I think Marvel. Huh, I don't know. It's not Marvel. I mean, DC is the one only one that still has the actual code on it. There was never a person that really, like I said, there wasn't a, a governor that went over and made them do it. It was all self-regulated. Right, right. Okay. Cool. Yeah, so, yeah, I think I think that they could probably do that if they put their heads to it. So. Oh, I'd only be allowed in Hessler. <laughs> that was the one Not that that bad. Really wanted to see. So, have a good uncle to get Hustler. I was lucky to get Penthouse. Was, was usually always Playboy. 
He had to have a good family member to get that one. <laughs> Maybe it's not a good family member looking back on it, but you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, literally, we had to work hard to see boobs. <laughs> yeah, I bet you did. did. Uh, yeah, it did. It, even in the 80s, it was hard to see boobs. <laughs> it was It was easier, but it, it, it was nowhere... Wasn't as easy as it is today. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, I, remember, I mean, I know I you're right. The yeah. Sound of that modem. I wish I had a sound effect for it. connecting. Yeah. Ordered yeah, bought to the bulletin board service to download the nude picture or semi nude picture of somebody in Sports Illustrated or something. And you waited 20 minutes for that one picture line by line to appear. There sure wasn't any sneaking around getting on the internet. No, no, there wasn't. <laughs> I need to download that sound effect. It was great. Mm -hmm. uh, but but you and I talked about this early, and that brought I wonder, that brings us back full circle to um Florida doing that House Bill One, you know. So uh House Bill One is set out to ban Floridians younger than 16 from being able to use social media accounts. But it doesn't specifically mm. name a social media. <laughs> it just mm. defines social media as an online form, website, or application offered by an entity that does all of the following. And it's like blah 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 blah. Basically, it's everything Facebook, Twitter wow. does. Uh, and, and they they did include tracking. I was kind of impressed with that. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I mean, there's a whole list of legal things there that they couldn't <laughs> couldn't do. So everything tracks you. Yeah, yeah. Everything tracks. Yeah, you. basically they were saying they're they're saying that it was addictive, harmful, and deceptive by design for children. It is. Uh, so it's compulsive. They want they want to make sure that they have uh, language in this that is pretty clear who does and who doesn't have it. Um, mm -hmm. here, got another sound effect for you. See. See, while well, y'all were saying I was taking a shower, I was doing my homework. Okay. I got video. Oh, I don't have video. I got audio. I got all kinds of good stuff. Here is uh, Governor DeSantis. All right. I think social media has been a net negative for our youth, uh, without question. Now, having said that, there have been other, other uh, states that have tried to do similar things that have met uh, resistance in the courts. And not to say courts are always right about this, but I, anything I do, I want a pathway for this to actually stick. Uh, so we're going to look through that. So what I would say is I'm sympathetic to, as a parent, what's going on with our youth. Uh, but I also understand that to just say that, you know, someone that, that's um, 15 just cannot have it no matter what, even if the parent consents, um, I, that, that may create some, some legal issues. And so I told the speaker I'd work with them on it. Uh, so I would say that, um, you know, this is something that's likely going to evolve as it gets through the House and, and, and makes its way through the Senate. And we'll see if we get a product uh, that, that, that is going to be something that's good. But I, I, I am concerned about the breadth of it. He's, what he's basically saying is he doesn't want to pass a law that will be appealed or overturned by yeah. Yeah. Florida State Senate. Or the United States Supreme Court, uh, state, yeah. yeah, one of the Supreme Court, federal court. It could uh, go. It could go all the way to the Supreme Court if it will. It, it will, and it'll probably have to be the ones to make the ruling. Um, yeah. The bill doesn't stop them. They'll be able to still get emails, direct messages, stream services, sports news, entertainment, mm -hmm. online mm -hmm. shopping, gaming, photo editing. It was one thing they talked about today. Photo editing is bad for kids. Well, and I guess I have a different view on that because I'm a photographer and I've always, you always touch up your photos. You always do something. Well, what they're talking so about is, is uh, like model. Oh. You're, it's unrealistic. It makes people look unrealistic that uh, you like people uh, always have the smooth skin and they, they always have the best shape and there's no fat on them and no wrinkles or no blemishes. Their hair is always perfect. And, you know, I mean, 
it's something that's unattainable for for children to look up to even 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 like influencers you know the that are young their their photos are airbrushed and everything's perfect and blah 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 you know it's just look at well, throw ai in there now you can now oh, ai yeah. a person yeah exactly and, uh, taylor swift we talked about earlier she was been the subject of what they call deep fakes yeah but uh, I, I understand where he's coming from i mean yeah it's just it's a two it's a two it's a double-edged sword because i under i get to where i get it to where you know photographers and artists want to make everything like their magazines and editorials look, yeah. look beautiful yeah. and the people look flawless and all that and the models want to be, be that as well most you know some of them but um they don't have to be like real thin and their arms you know a bad photoshop where you can see that their arms are like one's really tiny or the you know an arm chopped off or something but uh, <laughs> yeah yeah look they have yeah uh, i mean i guess i guess, I guess it's the it, 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 you could make the per child look older too i guess yes. is part of it yes. but yes. i don't know i guess i just uh that one to me doesn't bother because most of the filters i see of course you know me i'm always taking goofy pictures Mm -hmm. So I always see the funny ones, you know. So that was kind yeah. of the way I went with it. And yeah, you know, you always as a photographer, you're always all brush up your pictures. Oh yeah, I mean, I I use them sometimes, a lot of times. But I try not to use, I not try not to like filter out all my damn yeah. facial features. I don't, I don't know how to use all of them. <laughs> I, just use, I like the ones that turn your face into like a frog, and you open your mouth, and the tongue rolls out. And, <laughs> Your clown and your eyes roll. Those are the ones I usually fool with. So I don't. <laughs> I don't have one usually. today. I don't have one right now. But I'm, I'm, my face is broken out. It looks like shit. I don't know what's wrong with it. But lysine. So, but <laughs> I know. Yeah, uh, you should. You should. Uh, well, I mean, figure out how much me. I got a voice for radio. Your face for radio. Apparently, I do too. I need. How, how do you figure out how much you need to take for your weight? You just go online and look. Yeah, it'll give you the pounds per kilogram or milligrams per kilogram. So, yeah, he's, I don't know how much you need a kilogram for. Try to weight by two point two, or do the midnight rule. If I did half minus ten percent, you're pretty close. So. Okay. Midnight rule. But yeah, I found they want to put a warning label like cigarettes. You remember these have cigarettes have warning labels? Yeah. I have a pack of cigarettes that I couldn't tell you. They but. still have a warning label. Yeah, now they got pictures. In some of the countries I travel to, now they have pictures of like people with like tubes in their throat and stuff. Oh, no. My friend Ken, he collects uh, camel uh, cigarette stuff. Mm hmm. Whenever I'd travel out of the country, I'd buy him a pack of cigarettes from over there and, you know, I'd send them to him. Yeah. Some of them in like the Middle Eastern countries have some extremely graphic pictures. Really? Yeah, like right over the label. Yeah. Oh. So, uh, so yeah, that's what they're, they want to put a label for uh, uh, the apps that when you turn them on, it'll say this app may be harmful to your mental health <laughs> and then it, it may be addictive. Hmm. <laughs> so, well, yeah. I mean, people are going to ignore that. You know that. Oh yeah, yeah. So, so so far the bills only cleared their house. It's headed to their Florida Senate, and as you heard, the governor's going to work with the Senate. Uh, yeah. The so I guess Florida is going to try and do it, and but basically it's going to have to be a third party regulating to prove ID mm -hmm. and parents, which it should, it should always go back to the parents, in my opinion. Parents, yeah, should, yeah. Should. Now, I did get something weird, and I wanted to play with it, but I haven't done it yet. I got an email from Google yesterday. Mm -hmm. Georgia is now a state that uses 
Google technology so I can store my driver's license on Google. And if I get pulled over, I can just show the cop my picture on Google and he can scan it to verify it. Is it Google Wallet? Yeah, Google yeah. Wallet. Yeah, so you can leave it. Is, yeah, well, George's now works with the whatever, county, oh, county yeah. state, whatever. And yeah, you just hold it up. And, that, uh, and I was like, that is crazy. You're giving all that data to Google. I mean, they probably yeah. are anyhow, but. They probably yeah. do. Yeah, and now governments are using it. And local government. Oh. Well, state government. Wow. So, yeah, yeah, they probably have it already. It's in place of your driver's license. I guess when I go to get my next driver's license, they'll text it to me. They might. They just might. Yeah, but yeah, they're, they're up Google's butt with it, apparently. So I want to play with the feature and see what it is. Oh, you can, they, want to, they want to also store your uh, COVID information, too. Yeah, what, I don't like that. Yeah, yeah. When I went through one state last year, no, two years ago when COVID was so bad, mm-hmm. I was in the state for over 24 hours, and I got a message on my phone that in order to continue receiving signal through whatever, I had to download a state app <laughs> allow them to track COVID. I turned that shit off. We couldn't. During the COVID, it was to use your phone, you had to install the app. A and, signal? Uh, uh, yes. Yeah, you had to. Yeah, they, it would turn your phone flat off. This is back to when, when COVID had Are the you tough. Kidding? No, it was a it was a northern state. Oh my god! Yeah, uh-uh. yeah. Because I asked my friend that lived there, and he's like, "Oh yeah, you got to put that on your phone at work." Oh <laughs> my gosh, that is just it's a little too far. Well, I think with COVID, I think the government tried to see how far they could push some areas. They got by with more than other areas. So, no, that tracking thing. Uh, do you have an iPhone? Uh, Android? No. I'm, okay, I've I've got an iPhone, and there's. There's a tracking thing on uh, built in within Apple that uh, you can toggle off and on if you wanted to have the uh, app track for you the COVID areas and like alert you for them and you could also put in your COVID information in your uh, wallet, Apple wallet, which I didn't do. Well, maybe I did. I might have put it in there just so I wouldn't have to carry my card, but um, no. Papers. Yeah, show me your Heavy papers. papers. <laughs> show me the papers. I think I did put it in there because I, I was afraid I'd lose it or something, but um, I don't give a shit about that. Oh, we got two of them, but uh yeah, I did put yeah. that in there, but I turned the tracking shit off. I, just, I think it's off on my phone, but yeah, when that one state <laughs> couldn't do it, man. Couldn't do it. That's crazy. I that app. Yep. I won't say that it started with new and ended with York, but Oh yeah. That was, <laughs> they were bad. They were they were bad, so bad. Yeah, it was it was rough. Oh. So, you um, know what? What I never got about that. Yeah. <laughs> you can lock these things. Put start your mask to- on. I- put your mask on. Walk into the restaurant. When you sit down, you can take it off. Yes. That was, every- that was everywhere. Yes. They wouldn't yeah, let you. Even- they wouldn't let you walk across the room without your mask and nope. sit down. I had to have it on, yeah. Yeah. I had to have it on. I, I ran into in my, that was uh, when I traveled was right after the COVID thing. My travels, I ran into a pleasant young lady who told me I needed to have my mask on, and I informed her that no, I didn't, and I'd already checked the state laws. Mm-hmm. She said, well, "You're just trying to kill me." And oh I asked her. I said, "So I, I was, you know, I said, uh, I said, you have no idea who I am, do you?" She looked at me. I'm kind of a big deal, but no. I said, <laughs> I said, did you did you just smell that fried chicken? Yeah, I said. You know, I did too. I don't have a mask on. I said. Do you know I'm a firefighter, hazardous materials technician? Mm-hmm. I can tell you without a doubt that if someone has COVID and they breathe, you just inhaled it. If you can smell the chicken, 
They tried to do a study at Virginia Tech to find a mask that would stop COVID. And the study came back said that they couldn't find any material that would not suffocate an adult human. Well, we'll just, of human, human species. Human. Yeah. yeah. They tried everything. Nothing would, they couldn't create a mask that would be because it's so tiny and small. Yeah. yeah. So we're probably not supposed to discuss that on these channels, but it, that is an actual fact. If you go and look it up, that is science. That is not some bullshit drink Clorox crap. That is actual real deal. Which he didn't say. Get it. So, you know, or you're going to, you can smell that fried chicken or you can smell your <laughs> drinking buddy's fart. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> you can get the vid. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Actually, those masks have proven by science and technology to be worse mm -hmm. because you're always touching or you're keeping things on the mask from other carriers. Mm -hmm. yep, so, yep. Yeah. And people, I mean, even if you wash them, you couldn't get them clean enough. No. God, the fire department, they were so stupid. When we first got her in 95s. <clears throat> which was supposed to be here all was not mm -hmm. stated plainly made in China did not yeah. did stop the cold flu virus anyhow they give us a mask and a brown paper bag what? 24 hours we were to wear the mask mm -hmm. 24 hours we were off we were to take Lysol and spray it in the bag <laughs> get the bag wrap it up and put it in your locker sure, take it out Next 24 sure. Hours. okay and I said to my battalion chief when he handed me this and told me this, <laughs> I'm a smart ass. Everybody knows I'm a smart ass. I said, can you please put that in writing? He looked uh -huh. at me. I'm giving you a direct order. I said, no. I want that in writing. Because apparently the fools of administration have never been in the damn field to know that Lysol, if you inhale it, can actually cause harm. <laughs> it's actually... Bad for you. It's worse than the vid. <laughs> oh my gosh. It wasn't uh, two hours later. He had to go to headquarters, meet with them, come back and took up all the brown paper bags. <laughs> so Did he think that, that he think that of himself? Fire chief. That was the idea. And I'm like, have you been out of the field so damn long that you don't know this? <laughs> yeah, we were going to spray so I can imagine there was people that were doing stupid stuff all across the country thinking it was a good idea. Spray it on the mask. Let it sit. And brown paper bag. There's a reason they don't collect crime scene evidence in brown paper bags too, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> some of it they do, some they don't. The right, stuff that right, they're right. going to use for certain things mm -hmm. put in plastic sealed bags. Yep. yep. Brown paper bag, yeah, gonna attract moisture, germs, and Lysol. So, yeah. <laughs> I was like, please, Chief, put that in writing. Please put that in writing. <laughs> he was like, no. <laughs> I want a memo, Chief. I want a memo. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. Yeah. And the worst part of it was, I'd had a meeting with them two months beforehand, warning them about what was coming because mm -hmm. that was also one of the guys that that was part of my job i said this will come out here and they're like oh we're a small city and blah blah yeah. blah I'm like, we're a small city south of a large airport that 60 percent of our population works for that international airport which happens to yeah. be the world's busiest airport oh my goodness don't think it'll come here huh oh you're kidding and they didn't even I'll prepare with you nope Gosh. Nope. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, but you know. <sighs> I thought this was America. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was America. Yep, 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 yep. So, so well, Dana, we've got a show tonight. Oh, we do. We do. Yeah, we do. Now, I got a special guest star. Shows up. So. Who is it? Who is it? I can't tell. It's a secret. Okay. Okay. But 
He's really funny. Oh. oh Comedian. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Can't wait. He hasn't messaged me back, but uh, he said I asked him if he could show up, and he sent me a message with thumbs up and said, "Let's do it." So, All right. I'm hoping. And which was it? Even, the, the, which magician that, magician that has yeah the our, the magician that we had scheduled he actually has COVID tested positive okay. he's sick okay. so he called out but in the second uh, part of the show we have a podcaster comedian right. coming on so. so it'll be a good show either way yep and then Saturday night or Friday night before we get to Saturday night Friday night we have um. The Grin and Guardian Gang, which yeah, is uh, yeah. myself and a couple of my friends. Uh, one's a cop, one's uh, <laughs> a sailor. Really yeah. And uh, we talk about challenge coins. If you don't know what a challenge coin is, it's basically it's a memorabilia, or like a little tiny badge on most of things. So we talk about that. And we've got a guest uh, speaker coming on. He's uh one of yours and my ex bosses. Yes. Yeah. He's coming on. So, he... <laughs> so your whole thing. No, he's not mad. Oh, he's no. just passionate. <laughs> yeah. It's a play on his name, Barry Fury. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. He's not mad. He's not furious. So he'll be on to talk about challenge coins and communications uh, on that show Friday night. Uh, and Saturday night, we have our comedy show, which is similar to uh, almost a uh, Howard Stern. Isk show, uh, and you've got us playing games now. So, yes, I'm not sure how this game's going to work because I don't know that I'm smart enough for it. So, yeah, it will. Yeah, it will. Then, uh, you've got some weird and wacky news stories, too. So. Yeah, it'll be fun. Do, we're going to do weird news again. Yeah, I think we'll do weird news again because Lord knows there's enough of it. So. I know it. That was pretty fun. I like it. Yeah, well, I think I won last week with the uh, furries being locked up by animal control. Uh, yeah, no yeah, yeah, I still have to read that story. I've got it pinned. Uh, in case you don't know, ladies and gentlemen, if your child is a furry in Oklahoma and they're oh, using the litter no. box in class, they can now be considered feral animals. And animal control comes in, snares them, drags them out, stuffs them in the animal control Wagon. Rock, I, guess. wagon. I don't know. Wagon? Yeah, wagon. wagon. He hauls them off to the pound where a veterinarian has a whatever Never. observation <laughs> physical. I don't know. And then they call the parents and they put the kid in the cage until, <laughs> until well, the parents show up. Them up. And I guess they pay a fine. I don't know. Well, the Oklahoma says you want to be a furry? We'll treat you like a furry. Yeah. We don't know if they put him on the long stick with the stream. We don't have a clue. I'm assuming there's going to be some <laughs> court cases about this, and I can't wait to read them. <laughs> I don't know. I'm really excited to read that story, and I just haven't had a chance. It's crazy. <laughs> My son Ralphie was drugged down the hallway. <laughs> Ralphie, <It's> there. <laughs> put your eye out. Oh my God! I'm sure that uh, they'll have to change that legislation. I don't see that. I one. don't know. That one will make it. But I think it's pretty interesting. It's how, one approach. How many furries could they have? Yeah, how many furries do you need that you get your state to write a law about? I, I don't yeah. understand. Is there, is there an overwhelming yeah. amount of furries in Oklahoma? I do not know. Because it's a cold state, I don't know. You have to, I, 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 but it, it opened, there were so many questions I had about that. Litter boxes in classrooms. Me too. Okay, so yeah. if you give me a litter box, how do you use a litter box in the classroom? <laughs> how big is this litter box? What kind of litter is it? What if I don't want the sand between my feet? I want clay. Well, you've got paws you got on. Paws. You've got you've got uh, those furry paws. You have to shake it off. <laughs> you have to cover it up. Whatever you do, you scratch it, cover it up. You know it's got a. Oh. 
Well, I wouldn't want to be in a classroom with a litter box. It's human excrement. Oh, I know what it is. It's not an animal excrement. I know. Bad I mean, it was, was an animal, hola, but hola. that's gotta be. So how does it get out of the suit? No, oh, many questions. <laughs> I do have so many questions too. Do they have to clean up after themselves out of the litter box and scoop their own wee? And I don't know. I don't know. You got to put it in the was it the green bags here, so. <laughs> or red bags, whatever. Yeah, well, it should be a red bag, but yeah, it's green. Well, I guess it would be red for human, and it's yeah. green yeah. for animals here. So, mm-hmm. yeah, <laughs> so many questions. We would get a hold of that the person that wrote that article and see if they'll come on and explain that because I would prefer to have the senator or whatever they're called, state legislator oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that put that yeah. it out there because he was he came up with he drafted this legislation. Let's oh. see if we can do that. All right, well, I'll set you to that task. It's, okay. I got, an, I got an inbox that's full of things waiting on me to reply. Okay. Um, okay. I, we've su- sort of pseudo talked about it, but uh, I'll make the big announcement tonight on the paranormal guys. But we are uh, not only going to be live on WDJY in Metro Atlanta, 99.1 on your FM dial. Um, I have to say it that way. It's a contractual thing. Uh, <laughs> We're going to be uh, carried on uh, stations in D.C. and cable. I'm not really quite sure how that's worked out, but Ooh, nice. In my inbox. I'll read it later. So and she keeps encouraging me. That's good. She keeps encouraging me. She says, "I'm telling you, you're ready for TV." Well, let's I'm do thinking, it. I'm thinking you need to make a Porsche payment or something, lady. You've lost. <laughs> it. Not if you're, this is ready for TV. So I had enough time to be down to get me out on FM, but now, now you want this pretty smiling face out there? Yeah, probably not. Uh, I think I think we could do it. What TV show would you want to watch where there's a screen full of people? Just I, I don't I, I don't know. Somebody somebody might watch it. I think it would be fun. We'll do it. Well, I think we'll, be, well, we'll have to have some fundraising, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I just don't. I don't know. Just, Warren's got the, I need to, get the baskets ready. Yeah, I need some. <laughs> to get do, do, how, how much do we need? Probably close to a thousand. Oh, let's do a oh, Kickstarter. Kickstarter. Kickstarter to get this ugly mug on TV. To get our, get our shows. Yeah. yeah. Pay the same or, well, they wouldn't be paying. I guess it'd be free. But it's not, it's just you. Just you, Uber. Uber. But, but still, I, I don't know. Uh, I, want to <laughs> I can if I want to. That just shut no, me out. Minute. People people might actually pay because I've seen on some of these they sites might. that they roll camera on when they're asleep. Yes, they do. Uh, they do. Uh, Big O, uh, TikTok. I don't know if TikTok. Big brother, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, we paid for that. We paid nine ninety nine a month for that. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, there's some of these streaming apps. There's people that. Turn the cameras on and leave them going with them sleeping. And I'm like, yeah. Why? Why? But they're influencers, I guess. Yeah. I didn't want any of this. <laughs> I just wanted to make I a comic book. Make any of I asked people. about comic books. That's all I wanted. And then I got talked into doing the paranormal with Bigfoot. I was like, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. And then somehow it's now they want me on TV to talk about this stuff. But like, I'm the voice of finding Bigfoot or some crap. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. But uh, we'll see. Yeah, it's going to grow into bigger things. Um, but we're going to be in a couple million homes. Our voice. So, scary. Yeah, yeah we'll, have to, we'll have to make sure our act's getting clean, too. But, yeah, it's... Uh, it's going to be interesting uh, with our growth, and I uh, can't wait to talk to Ross behind camera and see 
because he's big about cross promoting and see uh, what he's got us going to do. So, mm-hmm. but you're never going to find Bigfoot because we're not looking the right way. So, <laughs> that's not for this show. So, mm-hmm. yeah, um, you can find him. You just got to do it a different way. But then I talked to a guy about doing it. I actually talked to a guy about doing a show, being on a show, finding, not finding Bigfoot, but about, you know, going out and hunting for, not mm-hmm. hunting, but searching for Bigfoot. And I said, well, that's pretty simple. I can show you how to do that. And yeah. He said, yeah <laughs> but the words, we, look. Need 14, look. we need 14 episodes of it. Like, oh. Christ. Oh. What are you going to do? I mean, you know, <laughs> it's going to be. And then let's say I find him. Well, then the show's killed. <laughs> Not really, because you can try to find them again. <laughs> I'm going to play hide and get sneak with Bigfoot. That'll be my next podcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Squirrel! Hide, hide and see. Hide and see. <laughs> then you go try to find another monster, or you go try to find them somewhere else. True, true, true. Oh, Still not too elusive if you put your mind to it, but whatever. Hmm. Whatever. Open your mind up a little bit. You can find him, so. But then you go try to find a Mothman, yeah. or you go try to find a swamp creature. Or I want to know about Slender Man. I saw there's a court case involving Slender Man, and I don't know what Slender Man is. Apparently, a girl killed another one teenager, oh. killed another teenager because she thought she was dating Slender Man or some crap. I don't know. I don't know what Slender Man is. Slender Man oh, is a what they call a creepy pasta. Do you know what that is? What that is? Add spaghetti? No. <laughs> it's, it's like a made up um, uh, story. Like all these kids write stories about Slender Man. He's okay. He's very tall and very thin. Tall. Very tall and thin. Wearing I've got from the name. black suit, white shirt. Um, I think his face, you can't. You ever see his face? It's a shadow. He's got a big, uh, tall, like, uh, top hat on. Okay. And he, like, draws kids into the forest and kills them or whatever. But the kids make up this character. The kids make up the character. And um, in this court case you're talking about, The girl says that Slenderman told her to kill her friend. Yeah, kill her friend. Yeah, exactly. That she stabbed her. Yeah. I think like but, 13 times or yeah, something. Yeah, thir- like, she yeah she several, like several times. It. Several times. But, but yeah. Um, I think <laughs> they, said, actually, they, were saying, they were saying she was mentally competent. Yeah, she yeah. was very, she acted very, um, she acted really out of it after, after the murder. I don't think she was on drugs. I think she may have had, may have some mental issues. Um, Most murderers do, yeah, yeah. But yeah. maybe but not to the extent that she did not know right from wrong. wrong. Because I think she did know right from wrong. I, I, the, her um, her interview with the if it's the same girl, is a little girl with, with the well, she may be older now, but uh, the case is several years old. So, okay, yeah. the same girl then. Um, she was a very very tiny little girl. Uh, it's a drop on the other one, apparently. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think it really was over jealousy, like the girl the other girl was prettier and and more well liked and more and uh uh your typical teenager thing popular yeah yeah, yeah. gotcha yeah, she stabbed her. you know you talking about that um reminded me there is a Man, and uh, you have to go uh, look it up. It's a psychological thing. But almost every person has had this man, and there's a picture of it if you look it up under a psychological thing, uh, you know, stories and stuff in their dreams. Oh, really? It's creepy as crap. 
but it's kind of like your mind, you know, when it makes up a character to be in your dream or whatever, Mm -hmm. this is what they draws. And it's always the same person in everybody's dream. Wow. Yeah, look that up. That's a creepy one because I looked at it and went, holy shit. (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it the man in the hat? Yeah, it's the man in the hat, yeah. He's in everybody's dreams. Yeah, it's the weirdest thing. Yeah, look that up. I, it's it, it's a rabbit hole to go down. So makes you wonder we're we're all programmed from yeah, that's weird. Somewhere. That's weird. But yeah, yeah, it's it's a weird one. I think we talked yeah. about that. Have we talked about that before? We probably have. Yeah, I don't think I've ha- I've I've looked for some people to talk about that on the show, and I haven't found anybody. But not nobody that I can say was kind of because I'm I'm getting real finicky starting yeah. with yeah. recently selecting my guests. And yeah, um, yeah. so I haven't found anybody. Hmm. They'll keep getting a time traveling vampire to come out of the closet. <laughs> so I don't know. Maybe it's a bad pun on words, but. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, uh, I'm still working on that one. So if anybody's got any time traveling vampires that want to be on my show, <laughs> bring it. Uh, yeah. Well, we w- I won't get to do Ross's news again for a while since he's uh, going to come back to the helm. So I might do Friday with him, but it'll be his show. So yeah, get play all my little sound effects, you know. I'm going to come. So, <laughs> I guess I could. It's, won't matter. Yeah. Um, but yeah. at any rate, if anybody wants to get a hold of our shows, I told you when they're on, but Ross will tell you as well. Uh, Friday nights at. Uh, Nine o'clock is the uh, Braden Guardian Gang. Saturday night is the Misfits at nine o'clock, and pair of our normal guys is every Wednesday at nine o'clock. Uh, so if uh, you want to get in touch with any of those shows, any of the personalities in them, you can shoot your shoot your voicemail, and you can do it anonymously. Speakpipe.com, and then you put in slash para or normal guys with a Z. Fancy. We like to see. Uh, you can send us a message, or of course, um, you can also send us an email at pair our normal guys with a Z at gmail.com. You have a message for us. If you want to get in touch with one of us, but I will probably, I will look at my calendar and I will probably join Ross on Friday. I don't see why not. So. Yeah, you could do that. And I'm sure it wasn't too, you didn't have too bad of a time dealing with me, did you? No, 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 no. Was it, was it that bad? Okay. Well, I hope no, not. it wasn't that bad. I'm going to turn that one screen. What? Like what? I saw we had new comments. and <laughs> There we go. It's just JT with a hat. So. <laughs> he said maybe it's Ross and a hat and pizza box. <laughs> it was a pizza. Uh, just a pizza. pizza. I'm hungry. What are you having for dinner before the show? I don't know. I had a sandwich for breakfast. Well, lunch. Brunch. <laughs> I'll probably have another sandwich. I may have some cereal for dinner. What's up? Like a dog on these stories, trying to be news ready. So no, I probably have another sandwich. I have some soup with it. I don't know. Well, I think uh, I think there's some taco leftovers. I probably already missed dinner. Oh, taco leftovers from uh, the other night. I, I could have that. So yeah. I'll do that, and then I'll start getting ready for the show. I gotta even, even on the surprise mm-hmm. guests and make sure uh, the shows. Pray he does. So if not, Bobby's <laughs> never gonna let me live it down. So yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. He's like, I offered you a gift, and you didn't take it. <laughs> I, know, I know. I know. It's the way it is sometimes. <laughs> if not, it'll be an hour of us BSing. So yeah, we could do it'll that. Make good, yeah. It'll still make good. Uh, Good TV, radio, whatever you want to call it. Oh, cool. We do it well, so I'll have Bobby to pick on about Alabama. So, yeah, yeah. Can, I will. If I get a chance, I'm gonna look up this Taylor Swift thing. Oh, okay. <laughs> See if she's oh, okay. an AI robot from the CIA. We can go down that rabbit hole. Down that rabbit hole. Good lord! Apparently, it's a rabbit hole. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I can't believe some of the things. Uh, well, I'm going to find my background music to get the hell out of here. And we'll see you guys tonight at uh, 
Nine o'clock on the pair are normal guys. Yeah. So go get dinner, relax, enjoy. And I uh, thank everybody for putting up with me uh, for the two days. I didn't get one complaint. Maybe Ross did, but I didn't. So Sport Cat News was a success. So and I, I'm happy about that. Maybe he'll let me fill in more. He didn't, he didn't let me uh, be with his other girl, though. Oh, he didn't? Allowed to be. No. I think he's scared I'll take her away. Maybe. maybe. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in. Everybody on the West Coast, thank you, because I know you'll be listening to this at a later time slot uh, for putting up with me. I am Glenn Sportcat Jackson. Find me on Paranormal Guys. Until then, goodbye, everybody. We'll talk to you soon. I'm nobody. Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, well, you're the regular. I'm the guest, so you're always here. I'm never here. Kidding. 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 Oh, Kidding. God. Yeah, you're, you're just Dina, so. <laughs> we'll talk to y'all later tonight. Have a good night. Good evening. Whatever the heck it is.